Hey everyone, Mark Spitzik here, just showing off the uh, functionality of the uh, evolutionary art with the genetic algorithm. Uh, this is the picture that I use. It is my daughter Charlotte, and I'm afraid that uh, my overall project didn't really do her do her much justice, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and, and uh, take a look. So when you start the program, I, I'll just run a, uh, a simple uh, gap. Let's see. Let's just do like a hundred, and you can sort of see just what it entails, what it will actually work with it. Uh, when it pops up here. All right, so we can see that I, I did choose uh, rectangles, so nothing crazy there. I did uh, basically do the color, change change each color, make it a random color, and also a random alpha, so that's why you see the uh, the faded in and out. Um, the, the I also did something different where I did a rotation instead, so I actually added the rotation. I tried to add a linear gradient, uh, gradient and it, it worked, but it made the, uh, this code too slow, and there was something up with it that didn't seem to work. So I reverted back to just, just taking that out, so now it's just with uh, uh, no linear gradient, just one solid solid brush color. But you can see I did, I did do the rotation, and that would be sort of our, our first, you know, well, that's gap 100, so that's not too, too uh, good there. The way that I, uh, so that, that would be obviously my genotype to my phenotype. Uh, you know, the rectangles where I have a location on the screen as the X and the Y. We have the height and the width uh, as both other values. We have four colors, um, or four values for the color, and then also a value for the rotation in degrees. Um, so let's take a look at the, uh, the phenotype, or sorry, the fitness function. So here's the fitness function, and let me just, uh, maybe I can explain. Okay, so the fitness function, basically all I did is if we have our screen, instead of looking at sort of, uh, you know, random points throughout, right? I didn't do that. I decided to, instead of pick random points, I actually picked random sort of horizontal start points. So let's say they're, you know, picked. I picked five, I believe, uh, going going across. So there's our five sort of horizontal, or these are vertical points, but I'm making horizontal lines. So along this line, so that that same Y value, the X value will go the whole length of the screen. It'll do the same thing. It'll check every 10 pixels going across on these lines. And these lines are going to be random. So instead of it just checking sort of sporadically all through, it'll check sort of how it changes as it goes across in a horizontal plane. Uh, and I thought that would make it uh, sort of work out, work out better. Uh, I tried a few other things. This one did actually see some changes. Not great changes, but changes nonetheless. So that, that is what I did for my... Uh, for my fitness function, and we can actually uh, see the code over here. Uh, like I said, it just runs through every every pixel, checks the color, uh, nothing crazy there. So let's see some results. Well, that is, of course, it would be like just the first generation, and you can see that it's the value is negative two hundred and thirty thousand. About, I ran it all the way up to about gap one million in in various increments, and we can see some of the results uh, here. Um, Right, apparently that's not what I want to open it. It'll work. That's fine. Uh, so you can see nothing crazy here. That was sort of right at the beginning. That was after 25,000. We did get some more colors right here. Um, that's fine. When I got later on in the, the project, this ended up being the best one. This was nearing the sort of 750 million, million uh, gap uh, mark. So let's see what we got here. Let's, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Let's just open that with paint.net. That'll work. Okay. So we can see, yeah, there it is. Okay, um, I will say that of course it didn't really, like I said, doesn't really do my daughter too much justice here. But I will give it the fact that it did pull up a lot of the uh, the purples and the pinks and the blues and some of the the, the other um, colors. It also darkened where the picture is dark around. Now I, I do look at the picture and I see that it is, you know, pretty pretty dark around here. So that would be sort of our, your alpha value, making it dark and bright colors. Uh, and then it is brighter in the middle where sort of the flash would be sort of around her face. It is brighter here. So it didn't really get to a point where it looks like her, where it really could be refined. But if I just take a look at what the actual um, value is it's negative 66,000 so that is a lot better than the the so it was making progress but and that was a lot better than the original uh negative 300,000 so it is it would get better and I'm still going to still going to run it um still going to run through it with this and we can um I'll see if I can get it any further but at this point again it does get sort of the colors right uh maybe not in any order 
and maybe the brightness and some of the other colors right. So uh, that wraps it up for me. Um, thanks a lot for watching. and.